Hello and welcome to the analysis of the Hindu newspaper dated October 26, 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss just two important newspaper articles. But the list of important newspaper articles is very long. So you have to go through all of these newspaper articles. I provided the image of all these important newspaper articles in the Telegram channel as well. So you can read from there. You can collect all those important newspaper articles from there and then read in the Hindu newspaper. Reading the Hindu newspaper is very important. It cannot be substituted with a video. But we will try to cover just two important newspaper articles which are very significant, very important for the civil services examination. So with this, let's start our video for the day. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification so that you can receive the update of every video we put on this channel. All right. You can also join us on Telegram to, got, to get all the important PDFs important for the civil services examination. So do join us on Telegram. And with this, let's start our first important newspaper article. Now, this particular newspaper article is regarding the Britain. Now, why Britain? Because it is going to have its first non-white prime minister. And this prime minister happens to be from Indian descent. All right. So this is why that is this article is important. So what is happening in Britain is that there was a historic day for United Kingdom because it is getting its first non-white prime minister who happens to be Rishi Sunak. Now he was the formal former chancellor of the Exchequer and he is also going to be Britain's youngest prime minister in the recent time so this is a very significant news and britain has got its third prime minister in the last three months after the boris johnson listras came in listras did not complete that much of a session she was only there for 45 days and now rishi sunak is going to be there and it is expected that the India and Britain relations are going to be better because it comes from an Indian descent. So, Mr. Sunak, 42, is of Indian descent and was born to parents who migrated to Britain from East Africa. All right. So, now he happens to be former investment banker and hedge fund manager, will have the daunting task of trying to get the Britain's economy because he is investment banker. So, he understands the British economy. So it is he's, it is expected that he is going to uh, he going he is going to do what? He is going to put British economy on the tracks. All right. So there are there were many things that uh, there were many things that which happened on in the last in the past and the British economy is now kind of collapsing. Kind of collapsing I am saying. All right, not a, it has not collapsed. It is kind of collapsing. Pound is at on at an all time low as compared to the dollar, and that is why it is expected that Rishi Sunak, who happens to be from Indian descent, is going to put British economy back on track, as well as the Indian and Britain relations are going to be better. So this is the first important newspaper articles article which we are going to discuss in this video. Now we have discussed in this video. The first important newspaper article. Let's now discuss the second important newspaper article. Now, this particular newspaper article is regarding the UNSC, which is United Nations Security Council. Now, its members, that is the 15 members, are going to pay tributes at the 20, uh, 26 by 11 memorial. What is 26 by 11 memorial? It was a terrorist attack which happened in Mumbai for who, those who do not know. By the way, I am expecting that you all know this fact, right? Alright, so now this particular article says that ambassadors of all countries in the UNSC will attend a memorial for victims of 26 by 11 terror attacks in Mumbai on Friday as part of a ses special session of the Counter-Terrorism Committee at the Taj Mumbai Hotel, one of the sites of the attacks in 2008. Now, this is significant. This particular event is very significant because now India is not going to be no longer part of the UNSC. It is part of the non-permanent members at this particular point of time but in 2022 it's uh, at the end of 2022 its membership is going to end in the UNSC it will be I mean uh, reappointed or re-elected but 
that is going to happen after a period of time but at this point of time the india's uh, india's membership is going to end in 2022 and that is why this particular thing is going to be very significant or this particular meet of counter terrorism committee is going to be very significant as the taj mumbai hotel all right so now what is unsc the united nations security council was established by the un charter in 1945 and it is one of the six principal organs of the united nations now the united nations is a combination of six principal organs or six parts it has six parts right so now the six members or the six principal organs are what first principal organ is the united nations security council the second one is the general assembly the third one is the trusteeship council uh, and the fourth one is the economic and social council that is ecosoc and the fifth one is the united uh, sorry international court of justice and the sixth one is the un secretariat all these organs contribute to what is known as united nations right and in this particular organization that is the unsc its primary responsibility is to work to maintain international peace and security and it is headquartered at new york and when we talk about the members it has 15 members five happen to be the permanent members they are going to be remain uh, even after uh, they have remained the part of the unsc from 1945 right now it is five permanent members which have been from the 1945 and it is 10 non permanent members who are elected for a two year term now india is part of the unsc at this particular point of time but its two year term is now going to end soon all right so now the five permanent members are united nations uh, sorry united states the russian federation france china and the united kingdom all right so these are the five permanent members who have been the member of the unsc from 1945 now each year the general assembly elects five non permanent members so five non permanent members are elected every two years or sorry each year for a two year term now the 10 non permanent seats are distributed on the regional basis they are given on the regional basis and the council's presidency is a capacity that rotates and the council's presidency is a capacity that rotates every month among its 15 member so one country is the president at particular one particular point of time and then the second in the second month there is other presidency there is th in the third month there is other pre presidency and it goes on and on all right so now when we talk about the voting powers how the decisions are made in the unsc it happens that each member of the security council has one vote and decision of the security council on matters are made by an affirmative vote of nine members including the concurring votes of the permanent members so you need the vote of the permanent members and apart from it four non permanent members are going to give their affirmative vote and then the decision is made in the united nations security council now this is not it what happens is that a no vote from one of the five permanent members blocks the passage of the resolution for example if the five out of one of the out one out of the five permanent members happens to not agree with that resolution then this particular bill is not or this particular resolution is not going to be passed this is what is the tricky point about the united nations security council and this is what has been protested by other countries as well this gives the all the permanent members a uh, super power and that is what the other countries do not want because that is an unfair advantage in support of the five permanent members that is us uk china and others all right so now when you talk about the unsc it has some of the issues first one is the absence of records and texts of the meetings all of these meetings are kept very secret it's not very transparent and that is why what is the first issue regarding the united nation security council when we talk about the power play then there is a problem as well for example we have discussed the voting powers when 
one of the non permanent sorry one of the permanent members doesn't agree with the resolution that is null and void that particular resolution is null and void and this gives uh, unfair advantage to the permanent members and apart from it there are divisions among the p5 united states doesn't agree with the russian federation russian federation doesn't agree with the united states china doesn't agree with the united states united states doesn't agree with the china and so and so on and so forth all of these are the issues of the unsc these three uh, these three are the issues in the unsc first one is what absence of the records and text of the meetings second one is the power play in the unsc and the third one is the divisions among the p5 all right so these are some of the issues regarding the unsc but unsc becomes very important very significant among all the organs of the united nations all right and that is why we have discussed this particular newspaper article and this particular organ of the united nations so this is it regarding this particular newspaper article and this is it for the day thank you from my side do like and share the video and subscribe to this channel have a good night bye